Emperor's Antiphon The Lord is the strength of His people, a saving refuge for the one He has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brethren, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? Greatly awed, the disciples asked this question after seeing Jesus calm a storm. Jesus, in fact, displays the same power that God affirms when he speaks to Job out of the storm. God's word today invites us to renew and deepen our faith and trust as we face the storms of life. Let us be aware that Jesus is with and in us, assured of his calming presence amidst the storm. May our presence too be a consolation to each other. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. On an earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. In the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limit for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be still. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sponsorial song. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love is everlasting. They who sail the sea in ships, trading on the deep waters, these sow the works of the Lord and his wonders in the abyss. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love is everlasting. His command raised up the storm wind which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up to heaven. They sank to the depths. Their hearts melted away in their plight. Give thanks to the Lord, for His love is everlasting. They cried out to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, He rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze. And the billows of the sea were still. Give thanks to the Lord, for His love is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calmed, and He brought them to their desired heaven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His kindness and His wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord, 
for his love is everlasting. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all. Therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for Him, who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know Him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday's Gospel invites us to renew our unwavering trust in God in whatever situation we find ourselves in. The readings encourage us to renew our faith in the Lord of all creation. The storms of life are considered opportunities to grow in faith. We are asked to confidently trust that God can calm all the storms which rage within us and around us, most especially when we are tempted to give in to fear. In the Gospel, Jesus embarked with his disciples to cross the other side of the lake. While they were in the middle of the journey, a storm came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. They immediately woke Jesus, who was then sleeping. When the Lord woke up, he immediately calmed the storm and reprimanded his disciples for their lack of faith. Pope Francis commented, Often we do beaten by the trials of life, have cried out to the Lord. In these situations and in many others, we too feel suffocated by fear. At the moment of drowning, we cry out, Save us! In the gospel, the disciples approach Jesus to wake him up. This is the beginning of our faith, to recognize that alone we will be unable to stay afloat. That we need Jesus like sailors need the stars to find their course. 
The gospel emphasizes that life is indeed uncertain. We simply do not know what awaits us in the future. We face unforeseen dangers when problems and difficulties arise. We forget that the Lord is always with us. He is beside us to assist, accompany, and save us. The Holy Father insists that we are never alone in our journey in life. For, he said, alone, it will be impossible to stay afloat. Jesus asked his companions aboard the boat a question which also pertains to us. Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? They were gripped with fear because they focused on the waves more than on looking at Jesus. It is this way most of the time for us too. We may, because of pride, say that we can survive alone or make it without God's help. But we know this is not true. We still do not know a lot of things in life. Pope Francis reminds us, faith begins from believing that we are not enough for ourselves, from feeling in need of God when we overcome the temptation to close ourselves off, when we overcome the false religiosity that does not want to disturb God when we cry out to Him. The Lord can work wonders in us. The problem lies in our excessive self-confidence. St. Paul, in today's second reading, emphasizes that the Lord precisely died and rose for us to complete and assure us victory in life if we unite ourselves with Him. Our confidence is in the Lord who accompanies us every step of the way. With Him, we have absolutely nothing to fear since He holds our future and life in His hands. God bless you. Profession of Faith I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful let us pray to God our Father that with His power we may weather the storms of life. Let our response be, Lord, save your people. For the church, the boat of Peter, that it may not lose heart when the storms of persecution and dissension threaten to sink it, we pray. Lord, save your people. For our government and civil leaders, 
that they may spare no effort to bring peace to places where rebellion and armed conflict are destroying lives and homes, we pray. Lord, save your people. That political and civil leaders may desist from going after instant popularity and political windfalls, but pursue what is truly beneficial for the people, we pray. Lord, save your people. For families beset by continual fighting and for homes threatened by the surging waves of unemployment and poverty, that they may find in Jesus the will to weather these storms, we pray. Lord, save your people. For our beloved dead, that the Lord may lead them safely home to heaven and fulfill their faith and hope, we pray. Lord, save your people. Let us pray for our personal intention. Father, amid the various storms of life, let us again hear the voice of your Son. Quiet, be still. May we find peace in our hearts and in one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoice us in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Bere Sanctus es Domine, on somnis sanctitatis, ec ergo quesimus spiritus tui rore sanctifica, ut nobis corpus et sanguis fiant, Domini nostri Jesu Christi, qui, cum passione voluntarie tradetur, acepit panem, et agens fregit, medico discipulis suis dicens, acipite, et manducate, ex hoc omnes, O est enim corpus meum, corpus bobis tradetum.
simili modo posquam genatum es. Acipien set calicem, iterum tibi gracias agens pregit, de ditque discipulis silvis dicens. Acipite et bibite, ex eio omnes, hic est enim cadic sanguinis mei, nobit eterni testamente qui, probobis et promultis e fundetur, in remissionem peccatorum, o pacete in meiam quemorationem. Mysterium Fidei, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, in memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, our Holy Father, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Celestine V, our founder, May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all that is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as you wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon The eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Oremus.
renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son. We ask your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.